For current coinage in the United States, there's four mints in operation as of today. These four mints produce billions of coins each year, and each mint has its own function. The main mint is in Philadelphia, which produces circulating coinage, mint sets, and some of the commemorative coins that you can get. The Denver Mint also produces circulating coinage, mint sets, and commemoratives. The San Francisco Mint produces regular and silver coinage, but ceased doing this in the 1970s. And the West Point Mint produces all bullion coinage, including proof coin sets. Philadelphia and Denver produce the dyes used at all the other mints. The proof and mint sets are manufactured each year and contain examples of all of the year's circulating coins. To tell which mint your coin was produced from, this is easily identified, as most coins bear a mint mark. The identifying letter of the mint mark can be found on the front side of most coins and is often placed near the year. Unmarked coins are issued by the Philadelphia men. Among marked coins, Philadelphia coins bear a letter P, Denver bears a letter D, San Francisco bears a letter S, and West Point coins bear a letter W. S and W coins are rarely found in general circulation, and as far as many varieties of coins, these can be the most valuable. The CC, O, C, and D mint marks are used on gold and silver coins for various periods from the mid-19th century until the early 20th century. There was also temporary mints that were in Carson City, Nevada, New Orleans, Louisiana, Charlotte, North Carolina, and Dahlonega, Georgia. For more information on error coins that you can find from the various mints that produced American coinage, check out my other videos here on the channel that covers all types of currency, from cryptocurrency to coins to banknotes. Let me know what you think about the U.S. mints and the history of U.S. coinage in the comments below. I'll see you there to talk about it, and I'll see you in the next video.